All right, today is <clears throat> Monday, October 5, 2020, and today is day five of my five days of whatever manifesting challenge, free coaching, um, group, community rising, whatever whatever this is for you, light worker, um, attunement or activation, whatever it is for you. Um, this is day five. This is the last um, day of this series. And I want to thank you all for showing up and being consistent and like showing up for yourself and really just um, being open to the information that I've been sharing the past five days and really, you know, taking it to heart and learning how to apply it into your life. This was the whole intention of this little coaching series. I wanted to expose, give the entire world an opportunity to expose themselves to this type of coaching, to this type of self-development, um, spiritual teachings, spiritual truths. Um, <clears throat> because what I'm sharing with you is not just applicable to me or someone in America, but this is like a human, these are like human topics. So I want to thank you all for joining the last four days and also day five. And if you're watching the replay, I hope you had a great adventure learning about all the things that, you know, we were guided on during the live calls. Um, so day five, I can't believe it. This is just so much fun. I do want to also start with raising the vibration again um, today. So go ahead and open up the chat, everybody, and get ready to start typing. We are going to start with some I am affirmations of what you're grateful for. Anything tiny, anything huge, anything super meaningful, anything just a general human thing to be grateful for. Go ahead and start off with I am grateful for or I am grateful that. Anything, anything goes. Um, and go ahead and just type each statement, hit enter. Type another statement, hit enter. And let's just keep the chat flowing full of gratitude today. And I will be joining as well. So go ahead and go for it. <clears throat> Okay. I'm getting chills as I am like typing and also feeling like your stuff. <laughs> so go ahead and keep typing, but I will start reading. And then as it feels aligned, go ahead and, and take a pause. Um, and then just soak in all of the gratitude vibes with me. So let's, oh my God, there's so many today. Oh my God, I'm still scrolling up. Okay. Here we go. I am grateful for this day. I am grateful for my 30-minute yoga this morning. I am grateful for this opportunity. I am grateful for another day. I am grateful for another day. I am grateful for you. I am grateful for me. I am grateful for my healthy breakfast. I am grateful for this training. I am grateful for my health. I am grateful for the opportunity to share with you. I am grateful for this program. I am grateful ah, for my health. I'm grateful to share this experience with you all. I am grateful for my breath. I am grateful to connect with friends from all over the world. Ah, breathe this in. I am grateful for my life, for this morning and night, for my entire day today. I am grateful to see you, your smiling faces. I am grateful to be alive. I am grateful for the opportunities that are coming my way this week. I am grateful and amazed with everything that is to come. I'm grateful for my business. I'm grateful to connect with high vibe people. I'm grateful for my family. I am grateful for my friends who are always reaching out to me. I am grateful for my children, my family, and friends. I am grateful for this breath. I'm grateful for my family. Oh my gosh. I'm grateful for nature and my evening walks. I'm grateful for my weekend hikes. I'm grateful for this morning. I'm grateful for the opportunity showering my whole day today, for birds and sky, for air and water. I am grateful for everything I have taken for granted that I don't know about. Oh my gosh, I could cry right now, but I'm not going to. Do you just, you could just nod your head. Do you feel this? 
Yeah, I do too. Because these aren't just words. These are, these are statements. These are spells, essentially. What we speak into existence, what you're typing, and then what I get to share verbally with you, this is, this is like spelling, right? This is creating with our words. This is manifesting. This is creating from thin air. This is raising the vibration because the energy of these words are uplifting, right? Gratitude, like we mentioned before, it's, it's a high vibration. So, and you know, if we switch that word grateful and all those statements for okay with, <laughs> the energy would be mm, a little flatter, a little bit, mm, right? I'm, I'm just going to read the lesson. I'm okay with nature and my evening walks. I'm okay with my weekend. I'm okay with this morning, you know? So just that word grateful or gratitude can change everything. Everything, 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 everything. So go ahead and incorporate that into your morning, into your random, you know, afternoon things that you're talking to yourself. Oh, all the things I did and all the things I have to do. No, I'm grateful for the walk that I did this morning. I'm grateful for my 30 minutes of yoga this morning. I'm grateful that I have uh, my family to see later. I'm grateful that I have lunch that's ready to eat, right? Instead of I have to, I'm grateful for, because everything in this life is an opportunity. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> so, <sighs> type 1111 in the chat if you're already feeling a shift shift in you, a shift maybe in your vibration. Yes, 1111. Yes, and 1111 is about being the change, being the change, not, not talking about the change, being the change. And I know that some of you are involved in some groups and organizations that are actually being the change and making big changes in the world right now, whether it's your small community or maybe it's your city or maybe at some level it's like your country or the world so continue finding opportunities that allow you to be the change okay this is why we're here your energy is contagious thanks that do so is yours we're all just mirrors remember we're all just mirrors of each other we're just pieces of this shattered thing glass and we're all these little splinters looking for each other Right? And we're like, where are you? But we forget that sometimes we just have to turn around so that we can see what's behind us. And it is ourselves. <laughs> it is each other. Um, and to look at each other knowing that we are connected, that we are pieces of each other that just forgot that we were separated, separated from something greater. Huh. What a way to just go in. All right. Um, let's do our ground and center short meditation. Today, we're going to go an hour. We're going to take the whole time. If you have to leave, go ahead and do so. You are, it's all perfect. And I'm so grateful for this opportunity. And let's just stay connected on Instagram. So let's begin our ground and centering with our shifting of our physical body side to side and finding the balance in our sit bones, um, creating that alignment in our 3D. And when you are ready, everybody, go ahead and place your hands palm down on your lap and close your eyes. And one more reminder that here in Hawaii, it is sunrise, so there are birds, and it's Monday, so there may be traffic driving by. Take those sounds as opportunities to turn inward and focus on your breath just a little bit more in that moment and finding the gratitude in that opportunity. Go ahead and settle in. And together we inhale through our nose and release out the mouth. Breathing in through the nose and out the mouth. Breath number three intentionally filling yourself up with light and with love in through the nose and hold at the top
and release slowly out the mouth. Noticing the warmth coming from your heart, coming from that quiet space within as we begin this meditation. Feeling your heartbeat and allowing any tingles to wash over you and wash through you. Tingles is one form of energy and one form of energy that only you can feel. So honor that. Honor that our bodies are full of wisdom and that by turning inward, this is self-care. And by simply breathing, that is being the change. And that by sitting with yourself, that is self-development. So in your mind, in this moment, complete the sentence about yourself. I am so grateful that I already, like, go ahead and finish that sentence in your mind. I am so grateful that I already fill in the blank. Breathing that in and exhaling it out. Keeping what you're grateful for about yourself in your mind's eye for the rest of today's session. Remembering that you are powerful, no matter what anybody outside of us says, thinks, or believes. Knowing that you are powerful and you are grateful for yourself in whatever way comes to you today is perfect. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this beginning meditation off with one huge, gigantic, deep group breath together. We will inhale, filling ourselves up through our nose. Holding at the top. Holding it. And audible sigh out. <sighs> Coming back to your body now. Coming back to your seat now. Your room, your space, and when it feels perfect. Open up your eyes and come back to the Zoom room. Hi, Nadia. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I have tingles all over my body. It is literally, it's on my arms, it's on my legs. And what I feel when I feel that is I feel a, like a completeness, like a something, and this could be for one of you, this could be for all of you, but it's like a a cycle that has been completed of something emotional or energetic for you. And now it is time to turn the page on to something bigger, more aligned, clearer, something like that, where whenever I feel that for me, that's confirmation that something for someone somewhere has completed. And so if that is for you, just breathe that in because I feel you sister. I do. And I support you. Everything. I'm just so grateful. <clears throat> Today, day five, 
we manifest. <laughs> we are manifesting. I told you in the beginning, I think it was day, I think it was day two. Someone asked the question, how do I turn uh, manifesting into like a subconscious like habit like how do I just how do I just manifest all the time so I don't have to think about it and there were some tools that we talked about on that day about how to do that depending on what's happening in your life and today we step into that intention and into that awareness of our power to manifest so today is gonna, oh my gosh it's gonna be so much fun um, I also want to start with the tool that I shared yesterday in day four which is calling finding which is called finding your yes technique and if you missed yesterday i'm going to go over it now so that those of you who were here yesterday we can practice again and all it involves is your two hands and your body so you're going to use your body right now today to find the position that feels best for you in this moment and this can change tonight and this can change tomorrow and you could be flipping flopping every single time but for now everybody put one hand on your heart and one hand on your solar plexus, which is like right below your bra line, like right above your belly. And see if it feels good to have your right hand up there or if it feels better to have your left. For me, usually it's my left, but today it's my right. And you're just gonna feel it. I can't tell you what's right and wrong. Your body is the one with the wisdom and that is the one that will tell you what to do in that moment. So checking our yes. First, we have to test it. First, you have to say something that's true. So what is true for you is you know what your name is and you get to say it now. So you say, I, uh, my name is, to yourself. And so for me, it's my name is Lizelle. And right after you say your name, you feel in your hands and in your body that connection and you feel, oh, how does that feel? It feels calm, feels good, feels neutral, normal. Okay, Lizelle, go on. The checking of that yes is saying something that is not true. So for you, you can say, my name is Lizelle. So that's not true. And I can say, my name is Claire. <clears throat> and when you say that to yourself, it does not feel the same as saying your own name. So when I say my name is Claire, it feels like eh, that's a lie, or it feels like mm, that's not quite right, or it feels like like the energy just doesn't flow. It kind of goes, eh, 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 kind of like that. So if you're feeling that, yeah. Okay. So this is how we check our yes. My name is Lizelle. Okay, good. My name is Claire. Yep. No, nope. that is my no. That is how I know. My body's the one telling me. Okay. So I want you to think of... Anything you want to manifest. Um, go ahead and type in the chat anything you want to manifest. It could be big, could be small, um, could be something scary, could be something exciting, could be something in your business, in your family, something about yourself. But go ahead and just type in anything that you want to manifest. Yeah. Stephanie, my husband, <laughs> new opportunity at work. <clears throat> okay, so we've got some um, examples here. I'm just going to read through them, and then whatever the general theme is, I'll pick that as an example. Um, but just know that you can apply any example that I share into your life and into any situation that you have going on. Don't feel like there's limits. To this or you okay <laughs> what if I want to manifest two things at the same time? I am manifesting two things at the same time <laughs> my husband your opportunity at work better communication in my life in every relationship I have life partner who's funny healthy easy going on is I want to manifest business in my new body life oh yes um it's my new home Ooh, wow okay there's a lot there's a lot okay I'm seeing joyful vortexes of like um stars and glitter just kind of like I see the world and it's like and it's like you girls like this is you stating like what you're claiming right now <laughs> I love it okay um so it looks like just a general theme is um like somebody um like a well husband partner um communication relationship so something around let's do um 
like a community, um, a relationship, uh, let's say a high, a high vibrational relationship. Let's just say that because you, we could do that um, at work, right? Um, we could do that, like uh, Stephanie's saying, my husband. So like a, a love relationship or partnership. Um, yeah, and then Nicole, better communication, life partner. Yeah, so we'll we'll do um, a high vibe relationship. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, okay, it just came to me. Okay, go ahead and put your hand on your on your body and mentally do your you're finding your yes. So I'll do mine out loud with you. My name my name is Lizelle. Yes. And then the check. My name is Claire. Yeah, kind of goes for her. Okay. Um and then you you say this to yourself, just follow my prompts and then feel. <clears throat> Manifesting a high vibe relationship is beneficial to me now. So notice how that feels. And then do the check. Manifesting a high vibe relationship is not beneficial to me now. And this is just an example of how to word a finding your yes technique. Okay. It could be manifesting a high vibe relationship will be beneficial to me later. Manifesting a beautiful home will be beneficial to me in November. Manifesting a husband is beneficial to me now. My husband is already on his way to me. <laughs> okay, go ahead and come back. The whole, the whole series was just a way for you to like feel how your body's reacting to the words, to the words that I prompted for you and then the words that you silently repeated to yourself, right? This is all about how we talk to ourselves. And I'm just gonna share when I said, the last line, um, manifesting a husband. Oh, no, my, my husband is already on his way to me. I just felt like, like not static, but like, like little like popcorn fireworks all over my body, which is funny because I already have a husband, but like I could, I could like turn him into my like super idea, like everything, right? But then also, so can you, like whoever is wanting a husband, I, I think they're, I think they're on, on their way to you. <laughs> So that was a, um, just a practice thing. Of course, the way that you, <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, Steph. <laughs> how did that feel for you, girl? <laughs> Let me know in the chat. Um, but how was that for you guys? Was that a good practice for how you can word something for yourself or how you can word something for manifesting something in your business, in your life? Great, yeah, yeah. So take that as just a base, as a practice, because it's all about how you talk to yourself. Right? I can't give you the actual words that will help your body. You, this is your practice. This is your self-development. This is like your homework, but not homework, but like life work, life task. Um, really tuning in and tapping into what is the best way for you to speak to yourself. Nikki, yes, you're welcome, girl. Yes. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to take a minute here, kind of stretch, and I want you guys to do that too. We're doing some like new stuff today. I'm going to take a sip of water and take a breath and also like adjust your hips um because we're doing some foundational stuff so i want you to move the energy that's down in the root chakra just move it just move, like wake it up a little because you've been sitting for 30 minutes
<clears throat> okay, so for me, it is 6.30 on the dot. My son's starting to come up. And actually, this is a good segue. I have my, one of my books. It's called The Hidden Messages in Water. It's by Dr. Masaru Emoto. And this is a pretty old, well, yeah, it's a pretty old book. He's been doing research for a long time. He's a Japanese scientist. And he did research on the way that words affect water particles. And knowing that we are at least 70 to 80% water, the information in this book is applicable to us. And then if it's applicable to us and everything else is just an extension of us, our relationships, our business, our, our, our bank account, our physical health, um, our skin, our hair, um, everything is just an extension of, of you, okay? So like I said a few days ago, the world is a mirror. Your bank account is a mirror of something that's going on within you. Your relationships, your love relationships, your professional relationships, your social relationships, your family relationships, it's all a reflection of something that's going on within you. And if we are 70 to 80% water, then we need to start taking care of ourselves and actually diving into how does water react to words, right? To spelling. This is why gratitude is so important because it raises the vibration and it raises the reaction that water has, our bodies, and then it translates into everything outside of us. <clears throat> I'm gonna read to you a couple lines and then we're gonna go into the most exciting thing I'm so excited to share with you. I can barely contain myself. I'm just gonna read random statements, but, and, and it's brief. Moving, changing, and flowing. This is what life is all about. Water has the ability to copy and memorize information. Side note, this is my citrine water bottle. This is all about abundance, clarity, knowingness. And I drink it because I am abundant. You can put crystals in your water and do the same thing, depending on what intention that you want to set for yourself. What you really know is possible in your heart is possible. We make it possible by our will. What we imagine in our minds becomes our world. The power of words. The vibration of good words has a positive effect on our world, whereas the vibration from negative words has the power to destroy. And we are seeing this happening right now. It's everywhere. Words are an expression of the soul. And the condition of our soul is very likely to have an enormous impact on the water that composes as much as 70% of our body. And this impact will in no small way affect our bodies. People who are in good health are also generally in good spirits. Indeed, a healthy spirit most comfortably resides in a healthy body. Illness is not just an individual problem, but a result of the deformation of society as a whole. Remember, we are one piece of, of the whole. We are one tiny, tiny, tiny sliver of this gigantic pie. We are one shattered sliver of glass of this enormous mirror that has no edges. There is salvation, and it's called love and gratitude. The most beautiful crystal of all is the one created by love and gratitude. And I'm going to show you that one right now. Um, basically, Dr. Dr. Masaru Emoto, he did a bunch of experiments, and what he did was he wrapped a piece of paper with words typed on it around a bottle of water. And the words that he typed on this bottle of water is love and gratitude. And this is that crystal. This is what love and gratitude does to water. 
So if you can imagine you times this times a billion trillion gajillion thousand billion in your body, your words are powerful. I'm going to show you also, <clears throat> this is like different, um, like this is thank you in different languages. So this one's thank you in Japanese, thank you in English, Chinese, German, French, Korean, Italian. Okay, this is gratitude in different languages. Isn't this so cool? So it doesn't matter where we live in the world. On the other hand, this is you fool in Japanese. This is you fool in English. This is in Japanese, you make me sick, I will kill you, right? Angel in Japanese, Satan in Japanese. So what is happening right now with the elections? Right? <laughs> it's all of this. And what would happen? Oh my gosh. What would happen if like everybody, like all those leaders up there just took a like therapy course and had a mediator in the middle and we were, and were guided to share how they were feeling and then ended each debate with like gratitude. <laughs> like how silly, but seriously, right? That could change the world. And we have no control over that, but you have control, full control over how you speak to yourself. So this is just literally like just a few pictures of his book and, 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 and um, scientific discovery, like information thing reports from all of his um, experiments. <clears throat> but I want you guys to remember this because how you speak to yourself is the most important thing that we could do. So we're gonna dive in to thing I'm the most excited to share with you and this is my how to manifest technique it's called the breathe technique and this is my first time teaching it to a group I've taught it to a couple people my one-on-one -on -one clients but I'm ready to share it with the world I'm ready to share it with you and you guys are the first ones to be receiving this so I want you to get your journal and go to a new page go to a completely new page in your notebook and at the top write today's date October 5 or I think we're all on Monday now. <laughs> yeah, October 5th. Yeah, India's still Monday, right? Girls? Yeah, it's Monday night. Okay. Um, yeah, so write down October 5th, 2020. And then write the breathe technique. B-R-E-A-T-H-E -E technique. Here's, here's the way it is. The breathe technique, and then I wrote for manifesting anything you want. Ah, I'm so excited! If you're excited, type 1111 in the chat. I'm excited. I'm gonna type 1111 in the chat. <laughs> Yay, Toby. <sighs> okay, yes, I do. Okay, so. What you're gonna do next is you're going to, on your, on your blank notebook, you're gonna do a giant B, like underneath where you said the breathe technique. You're gonna go B-R-E-A-T-H-E. -E. Just all the way down, B-R-E-A-T-H-E. -E. And each letter stands for a step in this technique. All right, so the first step in the brief technique to manifest anything you want is breathe. Okay, B-R-E-T-H-E. This could be anything from a guided breath work or a structured breath work thing. Um, it could be doing our bubble technique that we learned um, this week. Um, I think that was Wednesday. I think that was day th Wednesday. I think that was day three. Um, you do bubble technique. It's anything that you need to do to just get to the space of B, and it's easy. It's first letter B. So B through breathing. Um, it could be just take three deep breaths like we did in the meditation this morning. In through your nose, out. Imagine yourself filling with light. Mm, hold at the top. It could be whatever you want. It's whatever you and your body needs in order to be present, to be. Okay, that's step one. Step two is 
are reflect. Reflect. And the, um, the moment, uh, the image just came to me that, oh yeah, we're all mirrors and it's time to reflect. But this is like whatever you want to manifest. So in the list that we typed in yesterday or anything new, <clears throat> reflect on why. Why am I manifesting this? Why do I want to manifest this? Why now, right? Because yes, okay, husband, right? But why? Okay, we're looking at the energy, right? That, write this down in your notes. We're looking at the energy behind or underneath it, okay? So let's say husband, manifesting a husband. Okay, um, why, why? Oh, because... Um, because he's gonna, it's gonna be so fun, and like I'm ready, and I can just, you know, I see this like life, da, 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 and you can, and then like, why? Like, oh, because that's gonna, I'm gonna feel more alive, and like all this stuff. So you'll go that way. Or if it's like, I wanna manifest a husband because I'm alone, because I need someone to take care of me, because I need someone to make money, because I need someone to make a home, then you are going to feel the energy that is beneath what you wanna manifest. Okay. Same thing goes with a million dollars. Like the example from the other day, why do you want a million dollars? Because I don't have, or because I will. Right? So this is the check. The R is your check. Is this in alignment with where I'm going or am I doing this because I don't have? And if I come from a place of, I don't have, then I'm coming from a place of lack. And if I manifest more lack, that's not what I want. So I need to start over. Okay. <clears throat> B, step one is breathe. Step two, R is reflect. Step three is elevate. E for elevate. And it's all about raising your vibration. The easiest way, which you've already done, is through gratitude. So after you reflect on why this and why now, find ways to be gratitude, to find ways to be grateful in that moment. Give yourself any random I am statement that states something that I am grateful for. Or, you know, I am grateful for this opportunity to manifest anything I want. It could be that I'm so grateful I have these three minutes in my day so that I could breathe into life what I want to manifest. Whatever it is, raise your vibration. It could be also thinking of like your kids or your puppy or like a happy moment you had with your cousin the other day. Just anything that makes you go, mm, and just raise it. Okay. Step number four, A, this is important. Most people don't do this when they manifest. We have to ask. We have to ask for it. We don't walk into that universal restaurant and sit down at the table and say nothing, expecting what we want to show up on the table, right? No. We go, excuse me, hi, hi, excuse me, hi, hi, I'm ready, hi, I would like, right? We like get their attention. This is how we do it. This is how we manifest. You don't sit there and hope the universe says, hmm, I think they want a husband. Yeah. No, you ask for it. You straight up ask for it. Universe, I'm asking for a high vibe husband who loves me, who da 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 You got to ask for it because the universe will give you exactly what you ask for. And if you're super vague about what you're asking for, you're gonna get super vague. And you're gonna be like, hello, why didn't he, da, da, da. It's like, well, you didn't ask for it. <laughs> why is this salad, why does the salad have fish? Well, you didn't, you didn't say what you wanted. <laughs> it's a salad. Same thing. Then you affirm it. So ask and affirm, okay? So universe, I am, um, I am asking for husband da, 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 and and yes, like he is coming or it is coming. Like yes, it is. You could you affirm it for yourself the way that you speak to yourself in the universe. You ask and you affirm. Ah, that was four steps of seven steps. So step five is the T in breathe. This is where the magic happens, everybody. This is where you think. We have to thank the universe. We have to tie that ask up with a bow. We have to say, and I am so grateful that it's coming, or I am so thankful with the universe. Thank you for hearing me. Thank you for seeing me. Thank you for understanding where I'm coming from. Thank you for bringing that to me now in this moment in my life. 
Otherwise, we're just toddlers. No, I want it now. No. Now. Not tomorrow. Now. No. See? Then the parent goes, no, we're going to do that after you. Wash your hands, right? No, no, no. Thinking. Thinking is what allows, remember, 5D, 4D is the heart, 3D is the, the body. This thinking is making that tunnel from the, in the 4D straight. It's allowing what you want to manifest to come directly to you without the U-turns, without the curves and the, and the hairpin twists. That gratitude is what makes everything so easy for what you want to manifest to find you. How are you doing? You good? <clears throat> okay, so we've got the breathe technique for manifesting anything you want. Step one is breathe. Step two is reflect. Ah, oh, why? Why now? Yes, okay. Elevate. Okay, I'm going to raise myself up so I can do my ask. And then you're going to ask and you're going to feel hella good. And then after you ask, you're like, ah, oh, yes, it's coming. And thank you, right? And so you're still up there. We're still up there. One, two, three. Step six, the H is have fun. Have fun. It could be a three second dance. Oh, I just asked the universe. Like, it could be that. It could be, you know, doing a whole thing. Like, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna go have my spa day. Like, now I'm gonna go do my, my, my facial or like my scalp treatment or something. Um, but it's something that is fun for you. Now I'm gonna do my toenails. Um, you have to have fun. And this is how you ground what you're asking in gratitude. So you're grateful for it, yes. Now you bring it into your body. You have fun. You literally have fun. You pick up your puppy and you throw it in the air and you giggle. That is step six. <laughs> okay. And then step seven, the last piece of the brief technique for manifesting anything you want is experience it. Experience. By making that, that is, by taking that which is invisible, bringing it into your body through the 4D by feeling it and allowing it to land and hold on when you have fun. You need to give it a place to hook onto. The universe has no other option but to give it to you and you have to be willing and ready to experience it. So you want a husband, you do this, you get ready for him to show up at your door. You have no resistance to what you want, it's gonna show up. It is, but if you're scared, if you're confused, if you're like, I don't know, and there's doubt, and there's fear, and there's shame, and there's guilt underneath, like the husband thing, it's gonna take a really long time, no matter how much fun you have. This is why the R happens in the beginning, the reflection happens in the beginning. We're checking the energy of what is beneath what you want. And if it's clear, it's coming. And if it's not, it's not. I love you all so much. I'm so happy to share that with you because now, guess what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. It doesn't take that long. So, okay. Can you repeat that last one again? E is experience. E is experience. Yes, absolutely, sweetie. So I'm going to read it again with my notes out. So the brief technique for manifesting anything that you want, B is breathe okay breath work your bubble it's all about being and then step two is our reflect reflect on why there's a bug Hold up. reflect on why and why now we're looking at the energy I, I i do notes with energy with a line above for energy the energy behind or underneath it okay and then elevate gratitude it's mirrored for me, so I'm like reading back. Ask and affirm it after is the A. Thank, gratitude, be grateful, um, and then have fun. And then experience. So we experience in the 3D. So all of this, 3D, this is like 5D, 5D, like 5D, 4D, all of this stuff. And then so we raise ourselves up, we go up there, and then we come back into the third dimension with experiencing it. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you, Nikki. Yes. Oh, B is breathe. Yeah, elevate. Yeah. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. 
All right, so we're gonna do this. It'll take like two minutes. <clears throat> so if you're ready, go ahead and type 1111 in the chat. Um, we're about to be the change. We're about to manifest. Oh my God. And we're gonna do it live and we're gonna do this all around the world at the same time. And this is gonna create some changes, not only in this room and not only in your own body, but wherever and whoever you talk to today. Ah! And probably moving forward because now you have this in your toolbox and this is something that you can teach as well. Yee! Yes, okay. So let's all begin by, this is however you want, okay? So go ahead and breathe. I mean, I, I just, right now I'm doing three breaths. Okay, then now I'm here. Now reflect, what, what are you manifesting? And, and why, why this? And why now? Make sure that it's a high, flowy, happy, happy feeling. And when it feels good, we're going to elevate. Okay. The easiest way is thinking of something you're grateful for. You can think of other things like things that bring you joy, things that bring you love, things that make you smile, but elevate, elevate. So what are you grateful for? Okay, now that you're up there, go ahead and ask for it, ladies. Go ahead and ask. I am asking for, or I am manifesting. And yes, they are coming, or yes, it is on its way. Yeah. Now we're already on to step five, thank. Yes, thank you, universe. Thank you for seeing me. Thank you for hearing me. Again, feeling any chills or energy, that is, that is you. That is you in the flow, your flow. Okay, now we, we ground that, we have fun. So we can do a little like dance, um, bring it into your body, do a little like shake, maybe shaking your hips or your shoulders, do a little shimmy, um, but just, you know, have fun. And now, yeah, now, that was already step six. Now, we just experience it. You, we let it come. Now it's already on its way. We affirmed it, we thanked it, we tied it up with a beautiful little bow. Whatever you're manifesting, you already put it out into the universe. The universe says, check, okay. Now we just step out of the way and go on with our life and just be ready for it to show up. However it shows up, no resistance to how, no resistance to when, just being open because you already asked, right? Yeah. This is the part where we go back into the universal restaurant and now we become the server and we walk by the table that already asked for what they wanted. And if they go, excuse me, where is it? It's kind of like, yeah, it's coming. Don't worry. Right? We don't want to do that to the universe. We want to go, if we're the server and we're walking by the table, we want the people to be like, Oh no, no, I'm fine. No, I'm just saying hi. Right? We want like that. And the server goes, Oh, okay. So imagine because we're infinite beings, we could be in any place that we want. We don't always have to be the person sitting at the table. We could be the server. There's infinite versions of us and we can always pick ourselves out and put us however we want. It all depends on how we talk to ourselves. All of it. What we think is possible begins with what we think, what we believe and what we actually say. I am so grateful for this opportunity to share this breathe technique with you. Literally, I've been waiting to share it for a couple months because I channeled this about three months ago, like June, June-ish. And I was like, how do I teach this? Because I can't teach it in a story. And I didn't want to just put it on an IGTV. I wanted to make it personal. I wanted to make it land with you. I wanted to make sure that this was teachable. And um, yes, so I'm just so grateful to share that with you. Um, if you have any comments or questions on what we went over today, go ahead and type it in the chat. I'm going to scroll through to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, so go ahead and type anything, anything you felt, any questions, um, anything like that. I'm just going to take a moment here and drink some water. 
my water of abundance. <clears throat> And then Madhu, um, if you want to manifest two things at the same time, you could do the breathe technique on manifesting two things at the same time. And then you can do like, if you wanted to separate, um, I want to manifest this one thing, do a breathe technique for that, and then do another one for that so that the energy is clear. But you could also just do a breathe technique for manifesting two things at the same time, right? So then you just check in with the reflection on how you feel and that will guide you moving forward. I love all the 11 11s I'm reading. <clears throat> yes. Oh, wow. So beautifully you teach. I love you. Can't believe it's day five. I'm going to miss these moments. Me too. I hope you guys are, have been enjoying these. And um, I am figuring out the technology stuff. So I will be sending out the recording via email um, to all of you here. Love it. Thank you. Lots of high vibes. Hello, Nadia. Love you. I feel chills ready for the universe. Yes. This was amazing. Thanks, Steph. Lenny, thank you so much. I learned so much. Yes. Nikki, thank you so much. I will make this breathe technique a part of my daily routine. Yes. And also, don't get too hard on yourself. If you don't do it every day, do it once a week. And if you don't do it every week, do it when it feels aligned. Okay. But doing it every day, that will help you set your intentions like every single day. And that is more power to you, girl. You can do it. Novi, I feel so connected with you. Thank you. You're such a lovely soul. So are you, Novi. I'm so excited for what you are all manifesting because that means it's on its way to me too. Yes, that is exactly what we talked about the other day. We had, we had just so much fun these last five days. And like, because we're in this room and we're all sharing everything, we are connected, right? Like attracts like. So any success that you girls manifest in this room, like it's all coming to us too. And anything that we have already successfully manifested, we bring that energy forward into what we are manifesting moving forward. We are coming from a new space now, right now. And I feel it. And I feel this like clarity. I feel this empowerment. I feel this like forward motion. And so I know that day five is ending. <clears throat> day five is ending, but just know that in the future, I will, I am being called to do more of these, but for now, like something to keep us together or to keep us, you know, on that flow, on that forward momentum. I do want to share with you that I am launching my new program this week. Actually, yeah, this weekend, next week. It's all about how I can mentor you on your personal process of how to change your life. This is um, an individualized journey. So it's me and you, it's not a group setting, it's one-on-one -on -one, and it costs however much you want to invest in yourself and it lasts however long you want my one-on-one -on -one guidance. We will go into not just like the 5D stuff, but we're bringing it down. We're looking, you and I are looking at your 5D and you and I are looking at it through the 4D and then bringing only what you want in the 3D. This is something that just came to me and like all, all the pieces of the puzzle of my life finally um, click together where before this, before I was a manifestation coach, I was actually an occupational therapist. I got my master's working in the health field and I was helping people rehab um, from surgery or um, like, like critical care or um, like a stroke or something and helping them transition back to their nor normal life in ho at home. But my, my issue was that so many of my patients and clients did not want to work with me or they were scared of working with me because I was wearing scrubs, because I had a badge, because I could potentially hurt them, because I could give them a needle. No, I don't, but they just came with that belief that I did. And I had to leave that, that, um, that field because it just wasn't in alignment with me. There was so much going on and people were like so drugged up that they didn't even like want to talk to me. And I was like, no, I have to like do something else. I have to help people in a way that they want to be helped. I'm here to help people who want my help and I'm not putting my help. I'm not forcing it on anybody. Whoever's going to come to me when in my next chapter, which is now will come to me. And I know that. And now that I have been out of the medical field for three years, I feel it was so scary, but it was so aligned because now I found a way to use not only the 5D, but also bring in my 3D and really help people change their life, not only from the inside out, but from the outside in and meeting two at the same time. So can you imagine how can you change your life just in the 3D? It's very powerful. But if you're missing this, 
there's going to be relapses back to the old patterns, the old thinking, right? The old ways that we were raised to think and believe about the world. So what I'm doing is I actually cleared my schedule today, <clears throat> this afternoon, on Wednesday afternoon. So if you're interested, um, go ahead. I can send you my Calendly link and uh, you can sign up for like a 15 to 30 minute chat and we can see like what it looks like for you is right now a good time. Um, all of these things just to see where you're at and see what kind of guidance you want. And again, this is however much you want to invest in yourself and however long you want my one-on-one -on -one guidance. So really quick, let me actually pull it up so you, I can put it in the chat for you. And then I would love to see like, cause I know that this is a group setting. And so I would love to see like how this could work with you who feels aligned and when it is a great time. Is it now? Is it next month? Is it 2021? But I want to give you this opportunity to dive in because not everybody has somebody that they feel that they can trust to talk about their life, right? Um, and now the world is in a complete state of chaos and uncertainty. And there's so many things that are coming up for all of us in individual ways. So if there's any way that I could support you in that, I would love to be that person. I would love to just open myself to you and share one-on-one -on -one how things work and, how, and to make it applicable for you. Because my whole intention is to teach others how to teach others. How to teach my breathe technique and have you teach others. It could be your sister. You know, it could be your best friend. It could be your significant other. It could be reteaching yourself how to do it for yourself, right? This is all about empowerment and being the change. <laughs> no, yes. Yes, girl. Yes. Yes. So I am just, I am so blessed and I'm so grateful. And I hope that you all really learned something new in these last five days. I really, really hope that there was a shift, like a real one. And I hope that you come back to me at some point in life on Instagram, or maybe we do meet again we, maybe we do end up meeting in person that would be so cool but i ask please stay in touch with me and let me know if any of this information was able to ripple past you because how awesome would that be yes my dear, i will put this link on my instagram and i will put it in my stories and i'll have it as a highlight she gave me that idea to share my highlights i've been i've been behind on instagram but i'm a coach i'm a mom and this is like what i do I, i'm not on Instagram all the time so I want to thank you all I'm so grateful let's end this by saying I am grateful and fill in the blank I am grateful for all of you I am grateful for my grateful I am grateful for this opportunity to connect with such amazing women. Yes, we are all on the same path, all of us here. Our paths in this room are crossing right now. Ah, I just got chills. <clears throat> we know this. We know that like attracts like. And we know that we're in this room because there is something so aligned with all of us and all corners of the world. We've got Miami, we've got Hawaii, we've got DC, we've got Florida, we've got India. Let's see where else. I know there's more. I just, I think Philippines. Yeah. I'm grateful for everything I learned today. I'm grateful for newfound friendships and completing this training together. I'm grateful for you and everyone in this Zoom room. Thank you all for your high vibes. I'm grateful for catching the last session. No coincidence, that's right, Nadia. It's all perfect. I'm grateful for you and your free gift this training. Yes, yes, and so I ask, because these are free, to take a picture of your notes, send it to me, or take a picture of your notes and post it in your stories and tag me, or take a picture of yourself and um, my, like the caption is something that you learned or something that you felt a specific emotion or like maybe a little epiphany that you shared um, to pay it forward to people either reflect it back to me or pay it forward into the world that is all that I ask Stephanie I am so grateful for you too girl I'm so happy to hold this space for you I'm grateful for you all yes yes so please if you learned anything if you take one thing away 
from these last five days, it is that you are powerful. You can change your life. You can save your life. You can recreate your life. Every time you take a sip of water, remember that you have the choice. Whatever it is you believe, you can tell the water, I love you, I'm grateful, and drink it in. You can say, I am abundant, I am clear, I am powerful, and speak it to the water and drink it. How hard is that? It's not. <laughs> so we are ending today, these last five days. Um, if you feel called, Connect with me on Instagram to get the link for um, my 360 program where we go from inside out, inside in, physical, invisible, all that stuff. If you're ready to change your life, end of 2020, beginning into 2021, this is where the statement is like the road meets the rubber. What are you going to do? You can say all the things. You can think all the things. You can feel all the things. But in essence, we do live in the 3D. So what are you going to do with your life now? So I leave you with that. I leave you with gratitude for everybody. I know I want this to last forever, but just stay tuned because there will be more. I promise. I promise. I promise. I have never been so clear in my life. And I know that this is the direction that I'm going and that the people that are hearing my call, my little lighthouse blink, they're coming. And you are the first wave. And I know that there's more behind you who are just watching to see what you're going to find out and then report back and then we'll want more. Right. Nadia, you were like 1.5 wave. <laughs> My dear universe brought us out here. We needed this. Oh yes. Nicole. Yes. Everybody drop your Instagrams right now in the chat. Um, then I can tag you, make sure I get you in the tag. Uh, okay. I want to do boomerang before we go like a, like a group hug. Um, so go ahead and type your chat, your um, Instagram. I have two. I'm going to share with you my personal as well. Um, hey, but it's okay. You don't have Instagram or Facebook. No wonder I couldn't find you yesterday. <laughs> um, I was, I was going to text you, and then I figured, yes, Steph Escobar. Um, you know what? We send you love, Hiba. More power to you to be offline and off of this virtual craziness right now. Um, Yes, but we send you love. And girl, I will let you know when things happen too. I'll text you. So thank you all. Oh, before I go, I have to remember. Okay, if you want to be on the boomerang, go ahead and turn on your camera. I'm going to do this and then we're going we're gonna to go on with our day or night. And then if you want to do that too, if you want to take pictures too, go ahead. Okay, are you ready? Be ready, everybody. One, two, three. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, saved. I love you all. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to actually be with you in the present, in the present moment. Share about why I believe the number 1111 is so powerful and can change the world. Why gratitude can change your life. Why gratitude is such can literally change the world. So start changing the world by changing ourselves. Start inserting the word gratitude where we used to say I have to or I need to. Remember to take off the jelly, take off any of the, the thoughts, beliefs, should, would have needs to that other people place on us. Remember that we have the power to create this bubble of light and love around ourselves and we get to choose who we let in, what we let in, and we can choose what we do not let in. You are so powerful. You are so powerful. You are so powerful. No wonder you're here. All right. We will be, I love you. Nicole, we need to meet, by the way. <laughs> yes, 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 so are you. Okay, goodbye, everybody. I love you all. Have a beautiful day. Happy manifesting, and I will see you online. Bye, aloha.